Hello guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel of the Concept Guy and it has been a very wonderful journey throughout the first year. So we have completed one year of the Concept Guy channel and thank you so much for all your support. It was really possible because of your support and love and moreover I just want to share some info about the channel throughout the first year. So a lot of you have subscribed already and actually show a lot of support but yes some of you are actually 97.5% of the viewers haven't subscribed yet. So if you really want some really good content and some real, really great helpful uh, concepts then please do subscribe and show your support. This is a beginner channel and I just want it to continue and not end. So please uh, do subscribe to the channel. Okay, hit the subscribe button. That's the red button towards the right of your screen. And yes, thanks for all your support. Let's see some of the... So right now after one year we have 471 subscribers. That's really great and thank you for all your support and love. So in this video what we are going to talk about is about the DWSIM flow sheeting project. Although I had already made a video on this but yes some of you have actually asked for more details on this topic. So today I am going to share A to Z details of this project. So first of all like I said go type DWSIM for C okay and the first link that you will get is this. So let's click on this okay and you need to first log in. I've logged in already so you need to actually register and then log in and after that you need to go to the flow sheeting project here there are various things that you need to first look at that's how to download the dw sim so let's click on this link okay and it will redirect us to the official page of dw sim and here you can download it by clicking this download now button also please show your support to dw sim okay as it is a free and open source software so it's really helpful for most of you okay next what you can do is you can actually you have to have some project ideas okay so they are updating it soon uh, in my case let me share my experience and so you can get a better hold of it so there was some link about the methanol recovery in PSA actually uh, let me show you and at that link I found this okay Lubin 2005 uh, journal so this was the pressure swing uh, and I, my case was pressure swing distillation method for methanol recovery in team reactive distillation process so this was my project okay and this was a there was a link to the journal right here uh, it's to be uh, updated soon but it, there was a link to the journal right here okay so and also it was uh, not only because whatever link is here is actually a quite official link and you need to purchase the journal so one hack that I'm telling you right now most of you already know about it is just go to skyhub okay just type skyhub and you can go to any of these I prefer I prefer this one only okay and here uh, let me go to the first one let's see okay so you need to go this row black row to the black row and just type the DOI okay let me show you uh, like distillation uh, of of ethyl benzene okay and let's see if we have something so here is the science direct and you need to first sign in register so if you really want then what you can do is then you can go to this DOI and just copy this link copy link location okay and you can paste it over here and you can click on the open button which would open this so what after that you, do, you can just read over here or you can even download and that's how you get free access to the journals okay so project ideas my my project idea was given up here you can actually take any project idea that you are interested in there are a lot of journals so journals on uh, simulation and you can go through all of this so there are a lot of journals okay and yes you can find out the suitable one that you can actually do or you want to do so next go to the procedure procedure is quite simple you can go through this but let me show you once uh, you first need, need to learn DWSIM you can learn it from spoken tutorials or you can actually learn them from my videos I have made a playlist of DWSIM so both of them is okay you just need to learn it the best okay now let's you need to log in like I've logged in right now or create a new account then the most important thing is you need to first propose a flow sheeting uh, project okay what topic you are going to do and all of this let me show you so the main task uh, in the beginning is you need to select a flow sheet so let's take uh, let me fill out this so I'm mister and I am a concept guy uh, and the contact number the gender male month degree uh, month and year of award of degree so uh, you can fill there and the email and the university institute okay 
or project guide and mail if you have a project guide uh, else uh, leave this blank okay if you don't have any project guide or something and select the country okay and the pin code and the project title itself the reference would be uh, that doi okay that uh, links to your journal and version uh, you can select uh, i would say you should actually have uh, the recent versions okay at least sixth version sixth update okay uh, so name name of compound to be published so like here uh, my in my case let me show you so i had to recover this methanol so i write uh, wrote methanol here cs number how to get the cs number let me open uh, dw sim where you can get easy uh, get to know easily uh, you go to dw sim you have downloaded it already okay i guess and here while you go and create a new simulation so in the new simulation you first need to search for the components like i have said in my previous videos you need to search for the components let me search for methanol okay and here is the cs number so just copy this or in fact uh, remember it and write it over here it's quite simple method you just need to write about write the cs number of the compound here like 64175 which 64 okay in this way only you will get the cs number of all the compounds you need here actually like ethanol it's here 64175 yes that's for ethanol okay after you have done this select all the components that you need so one thing that helped me here in my flow sheet in the journal that my compounds were written right over here okay also i got i had gone through the whole journal and yes these were the main uh, these were the only compounds actually okay so you need to first find out all the uh, compounds and the cs number in dw sim so out of here you need to click 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 okay and add and keep adding okay after you have selected uh, then yes again agree to the conditions and submit after you have submitted this you will get a mail from the dw sim and uh, within just 10 or 15 minutes you will get that mail don't worry about the mail uh, it's computer generated and someone looks over it actually Recheck, rechecks it so after you got the mail and the flow sheet proposal is confirmed and do check that it's not in the completed flow sheets so in the completed flow sheets i hope please go through it that your topic is not one of these because then uh, your proposal won't be accepted and after you have done this just go to the dw sim start working out okay uh, and let me show you how, how i worked out and what were the problems i faced in the beginning so this was my journal okay that was given in this link i had gone through all of it okay and i have also shown that the flow sheet here has some different values okay so like some different values like let me consider one uh, this 2420 is d2 okay and here if you see d2 it's only the total is 1040 so you need to actually cross check all of this so i've basically followed the flow sheet uh, maybe the data here is of the previous flow sheet or maybe the flow sheet has some different operating conditions and that's why the mol molar flow rate is different but you just need to have a really good eye over it and check everything and try out in the dw sim okay you can watch the videos uh, that i have uploaded and they are in the playlist of dw sim in the channel page and uh, one thing i really want to tell you about here is that after you have gone through the whole journal and sometimes you might not get uh, the some data that is required to actually like here in this reactor they have written it is a pfr okay let me show you uh so in this uh, they have taken the reactor as uh, here the pre-reactor is a cool tubular reactor okay uh, with this much of catalyst so it was really difficult for me to know about the catalyst white space and different things so i used a conversion conversion reactor that helped me a lot a lot so this was my project and and in this project uh come on open up so this was my project and this reactor is a conversion reactor as you can see okay and this helped me to actually go through the so sometimes you need to apply uh just your brain that how you can actually handle all of this okay so uh, let me zoom it a bit okay and the thermodynamics mod package is also important and here uh, another thing was this uh, reactive distillation unit which uh, I was actually not getting the reaction data out of it so what i did was i went to the references section okay what what all literature has been cited and i downloaded these as well like l arfraj subhavala lubin so i downloaded these as well let's see this was this i went through the whole journal find out relevant data and understood what was done earlier and how it influenced the current journal and this was subhavala okay and i had gone through this and the kinetics data was pretty much found in it okay all the activation energy p uh, exponential factor so it really helped okay so you just don't depend on the uh, journal that you have selected please go through the references too because some data you might find from there too 
okay after completing the whole uh, project okay and one thing i want to tell another thing is this tables okay uh, how to generate these tables so pretty much easy uh, also this is the final table okay so you have to go to this configure master property table okay it's in the tools i guess uh, master property table let me see insert so you need to insert a master property table and after you click here so your table will come like here it is okay so double click on the table and select all the data you want like for the values of stream uh, 010 the temperature and pressure and so that and you need to generate this one uh, let me show you mm. so this is the final result of the whole flow sheet and i have then uh, made an abstract so in the abstract let me show you because after you have completed your project uh, you need to actually uh, submit the flow sheet and the abstract okay you need to submit the flow sheet and the abstract let me show uh, this is the abstract uh, this is the abstract and I this this format was given by them uh, you can download it that download that this is the flow sheet and this is the final table and the conclusion it's pretty simple uh, you can actually see the abstracts of the previous completed flow sheets and so this is the flow sheet and abstract submission and here this okay so okay so I don't have a proposal yet so uh, when you have a proposal then you can actually select uh, and go through the abstract submission it's really quite simple they, they have actually put up a uh, MS Word file so you can actually edit this file and uh, put your data into it so this is the flow sheet this is the abstract and hence your project work is complete now the last step is uh, this one last step is the internship forms and here in the internship forms you need all these five forms so please do download it and so this was it and this fossi and everything uh, these uh, watermarks are already uh, they have uploaded the file you can download it from them and here you need all these documents okay so these five documents you can download it from here and you have to send it to the mailing address via post okay and you can also contact them in uh, using this email id of theirs and hence your project work would be complete and uh, they might respond to you in a month or in two months depending on the complexity of the project and finally you would get certificate quite interesting right uh, it's really good and please do share the video to all of those uh, who would actually who would actually uh, want to do something want to utilize their time want to learn some simulation and yes again i'm saying please do subscribe to the channel because the channel needs your support so thank you guys please like this video if you really like it and do share it among your friends thank you